Charity here, hanging out with Jason Dunn. You probably recognize him from Hawk Nelson, the Hawk Nelson days, but Wait. he is, yeah, there you go. There it is. Look, oh, that, that guy. In there. That guy. <laughs> uh, he is, uh, he's, he started a solo project, and you've got a brand new album coming out called Abandoned Progress. And, well, first of all, I know that you picked May 14th because that's my birthday. That's the day that you released it. That's right. true. Yeah. But you know what? It's not coming out on May 14th anymore. <gasps> I picked May 14th for real because 14 is my favorite number. Hey. That's my favorite. And I knew it was going to be around this time, yes, you know? Yes, yes. But it's not. There's still, I'm a perfectionist, which is unfortunate. But it's got to be right. It's I just, It's got to be just perfect. So I get it. I'm making some adjustments and we're getting it. We're so close though. Okay. So no release date yet. May 20th, 30th, 20th. Soonish. It's tentative. Yes, yes. Tentative. Tentative. There we go. Well, anyway, it's coming out soon. Yes. Can you tell us what we can expect? What the sound's gonna be and it is going to sound like Hawk Nelson. Yay! Which I don't know how else to explain yeah. my sound. It's Hawk Nelson, I've been playing in that band since I was 17 years old, and it's kind of the music I've always written and created, so I, there you have it. It's just, yeah. there it is. It's, That's okay. I just keep going. I promise you, your fans will not mind that I hope at so. all. Yes. I hope so. No, 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 no. <laughs> um, okay, well. Your big thing right now is the Jason Dunn Diabetes Foundation. Yeah. And I love the backstory. I read the article, you know, and everything, and I just love the backstory. Can you just tell everybody how Elaborate. it got started? Yeah. Elaborate, please. I'll try to keep it condensed. Oh, I'm, I'm a talker. You're so good. Yeah. You're fine. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and um, no one in my family has ever had it. I don't, I don't know anyone in my family who has had it, and so it was just kind of a shock for my, my parents and me, you know, and... It was a, a, a very big learning process. Um, as a 12-year-old kid, you don't really know anything. You're, you're trying to figure out your own life as, you know, you're becoming a teenager, you're, you're starting to grow up and, be, you know, trying to figure out your life in high school and everything. And on top of that, you throw a disease that you don't know anything about on top of it. So I was just wrecked, you know, um, uh, as a kid trying to fit in with my high school, you know, trying to find my, my, my group of friends I could, you know, hang out with. And it was just, uh, I was scared, you know, mm -hmm. that's the best way to, to say it. I was scared and I didn't know anything. So um, I just kind of kept it on the down low. I didn't tell anybody about it. And diabetes has been one of those skeletons I've kept in my closet since, since the beginning of having it. Until about a, a year or two ago, um, I was leaving, with, this is when I was still with Hawk Nelson, um, we were in Akron, Ohio, and I was leaving our dressing room um, to the bus, and it was a cold night, and I, was, I literally was probably wearing this exact same getup minus the jacket, so I was trying to be quick to get to the bus because it was like winter, and I was trying to be quick, so I didn't want to get a cold or whatever, mm -hmm. and as I was running to the bus, this lady, I could hear her, she's like, Jason, and I was like, <laughs> do I pretend I don't hear, or just yeah. like, you know, do I run away, and Keep like... Going. So I turned around and I was like, hey, what's up? And she had her young son who was eight at the time. And she's like, this is my son. And I can't remember his name, unfortunately. But um, she's like, he was just diagnosed with type 1 diabetes like you. And I was like, and I'm like, how does she know that I have yeah. diabetes? Like, I was like, I was embarrassed. Like, I like hit me again. I'm like, oh, I don't like this. I was like, uh. And she kept talking. And so she was like, you know, he, you've been his favorite artist for as long as he can remember. And to know that you have diabetes and he is someone you can look up to now. And I was like. It just, I, I knew at that moment, I'm like, I need to do something about this. And I just, I had to do something, you know? Mm -hmm. And so that just, that just started getting the, the wheels in motion. And um, I just, I'm like, people need to know about this because mm -hmm. I didn't have, I didn't have a role model, you know, growing up. Like, who could I look up to that, you know, I could share this, this thing with? And it was no one. So now I've just kind of stepped out of my comfort zone. I'm like, okay, and let's, let's do this. And and, and be a positive influence for kids who are maybe going through the same thing. So yeah. I started the Jason Dunn Diabetes Foundation last year, and uh, it provides financial support for um, families with kids under the age of 25. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're getting there, and uh, it's been incredible so yeah. far. Like That's so awesome because, yeah. you know, I never really, a lot of people too probably, they don't understand how um, tough it is to have diabetes. I never really understood it until um, I met my mother-in-law. And she has type one uh, diabetes, and it's just it's hard. Like yeah. seeing the stuff that happens, because I've always been like, 
oh, psh, they just can't eat some kind of stuff, right. you know, and, sweet stuff. And, like, you know, that's the thing. Another thing, um, I left to, to tour full time when I was 19 years old. Mm -hmm. And I came, my parents, well, my mom especially is very, very protective. And, mm -hmm. you know, to leave home and to leave the country, to basically go tour for, well, it's been 12 years, you yeah. know. Um, my mom was like freaking out a bit, you know. Sure. But um, being on the road as a 19 year old, driving around with a van trailer, making zero money, I, I couldn't afford, I couldn't afford my, you know, my insulin, mm -hmm. uh, my test strips, you know, everything that I needed to basically keep this disease intact. So I stopped, um, I stopped testing my sugars because I couldn't afford the strips. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, insulin or, te or test strips. I'm like, insulin's way more important in my mind. I'm like, that's, and it just, it started killing me. Like oh. I, and um, I, it was pretty much every morning I was being woken up by a glass of orange juice because mm -hmm. your sleeping schedules aren't right when you're driving around, you know, from state to state. Yeah. You're eating whenever you can, but it's just, you know, you don't really know when you're going to eat next. You don't know where you're going to be sleeping. Yeah. And it just, it really, it did mess me up um, mm -hmm. pretty bad early on. And my doctor, that's when he pulled me aside, like, it's either you come off the road mm -hmm. permanently or you switch to an insulin pump. And that's when I said, okay, and it's forever changed my life. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I've been ever since trying to prove him that I can do this. And it's been well, incredible. You're doing it, yeah. Doing it. <laughs> you sure are. Yeah, so. Uh, well, tell us, how can you, uh, how can we get involved with it? Where can we go? Um, my foundation website is www.jasondunnfoundation.com. And it's got all sorts of things on yes, there. Yes, I was yeah. looking at it. Got some yes. good deals. Cool. Yeah, very cool. Okay, well, we got fan questions for you. All right. Uh, okay, Summer wants to know if you had to be trapped in any TV show for a month, which one would it be? Lost. <gasps> That's what I was going to say. I mean, if you're going to be trapped, you may as well be trapped. I mean, on an awesome it's, island. I mean, sure, if yeah. there's scary moments, but I'm sure there's lots more of that island oh. that's still yet to be explored yeah, and discovered. Exactly. It's going to be amazing. That's what I said. Exactly. <laughs> Um, and then Kip wants to know, what's the weirdest thing a fan has ever done at a show and like the craziest encounter you've ever had? Uh, well, this is the first one that comes to mind anyways. Um, one time we were playing a summer camp, this is years ago, and this kid just right in front of us pulled his tooth out and asked us to sign it. Oh my gosh. And just so you know, I have a pretty weak stomach. I don't, yeah. I, I don't, that stuff makes me nauseous and I was oh like, oh my gosh. I, I did it, but I was like gagging like, like <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. That's yeah. a good story. <laughs> uh, okay, this is one of my questions. Your wife, Lene, yes. she, of course, hosts an MTV show, and she's awesome. I love that show. And uh, I just want to know, have you ever met any, like, faint, like movie stars that you really like through her? Have you met anybody? Um, yeah, I mean, sometimes I go on set with her and mm -hmm. just hang out just because me and, her, and all of her coworkers, we're, we're very good friends. So. Gotcha. Sometimes I just like to you show up, and yeah. I actually got to be on her show once. Hey! And it was her birthday, and so I showed up, and she, I got to bring out a cake, and uh, it was pretty fun. That and, is awesome. Um, I got to meet Victoria Justice. But wow! Was, and I, not to date myself, but like, <laughs> I don't, I don't, I don't know who these people are anymore. Yeah. So like, I'm like, oh yeah, Drake Bell and I, we go way back. We're yeah. Like, <laughs> Kids are like, Drake Bell. I'm like, Who you know, like, Bell? <laughs> so. Oh, wow, that's right. I completely forgot it's that. It's kind of fun. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's so neat. Um, okay, one more <laughs> fan question. This one's pretty, uh, she had to think a lot about this one. Yes. She wants to know, <clears throat> how do you reconcile your religious beliefs with your last name? Because technically we aren't done, quotation marks, <laughs> oh, wow. uh, until Christ calls us home. Uh, so your name should really be. <laughs> wow, she's should, really yeah. she's really she digging deep down, for that one. She sat down. She sat down, and uh, yeah, she she said I'm, your name needs to be Jason. You know, it actually done. really it really wrecks me that my name is done. So I know. I'm just gonna have to change my last name too. That's obviously. Uh, <laughs> I, don't <even> know, <laughs> I don't even know what to say to that. So. <laughs> uh, yeah, oh, that's funny. Okay. I'll think about that one. Yeah, think about. It. Let me know. Let me know. <laughs> it's amazing. Um, I, yeah, I figured you'd never got asked that before, so. <laughs> That's a first. That is a first, yeah. Okay, I got some either-or questions for you. You can only pick one or the other. Okay. You can't explain why. And I can't pick both? They're not. Or neither. Okay. Nope, you gotta pick one. I love it. You have to pick one. Okay, zombies or vampires? Zombies. No, that's good, yeah. Okay. Chris, <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I mean, that's what I said. <laughs> Kristen Stewart or Jennifer Lawrence? Oh, Jennifer Lawrence. Thank you. Get out so of here. So far, so good. You're acing it. <laughs> Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter? <sighs> Harry Potter. 
Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Lord of the Rings is so long. It is long. It's like three hours three each. Them. Are you serious? <laughs> All right. And Marvel or DC? Marvel. Yes. That's obviously the correct Duh. answer. Duh. <laughs> really? No brainer. That is so funny. Okay. Well, the last thing and I'm going to And Coke or do. Coke or Pepsi. Coke or, I actually Coke. had that one down, but really? I was like, yeah, that's, yeah. Who drinks would, Pepsi these days? Seriously. See, that's funny. I would have picked Pepsi. I mean, yeah, who picks Coke exactly. these days? Exactly. Seriously. <laughs> All right. Um, we got a fun little thing we're going to do with you. We want you to read as much as you can of this in 15 seconds, as fast as you can. <sighs> that's dangerous. <laughs> I'm going to tab you. Serious? Yep, that's serious. Have you ever read this? Oh, oh my gosh. Seven. Okay. See, I haven't either. So, well, okay. There you go. I'm gonna, I'm you know I'm illiterate, there. right? She's doing this to get back at me for something I've done. Oh, no. Yes. I We're starting sure. on page four. Okay. I think that's where it started. Okay. Well, we'll start there. Are you ready? Yep. Okay. Knox in bo <laughs> box. Fox in socks. Knox. Dang it. Time's up. Shoot. We got to the second page. Uh. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> Has anyone ever done it that bad? I've never done this before. You're the oh. first, so honestly. Well, I've got a record of some sort great. at least. Yeah, you do. Like the slowest person ever, and Jason Dunn. Yeah, exactly. Are you gonna do anyone else tonight, like Peter? Yeah, Furrow? we're gonna do the other ones, and then we're gonna make like. A I'm, gonna, I'm gonna play, play his bets that Peter Furley gets to page eight. You think so? Checks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks <laughs> come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Yes. We'll see. We had to I do that. I wish I got to that page. Huh. Go for it. No, I, I've already, I've already <laughs> failed. I've already failed. Well, I won't have to bookmark that. I think I can remember where that was. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. Well, you did great today. I'm sure I'm uh, good at we're something. Here. Yeah, you are. Music. Oh, well. Very oh, talented. Oh. So, <laughs> oh, okay. so good. Um, it was so great to see you live, and uh, I didn't know this was the first show you yeah, guys done. Yeah, I was, yeah, first show ever, and I was so scared. So awesome. You did so good, though. I mean, I don't know. There's, so there's definitely parts I would like to go back and redo. Oh, no, it was you great. You can't, so. It was great. Next show, we'll get it. And, you know, it's funny, because um, I'm just going to admit, I was a huge Hawk Nelson fan. Like, if somebody well, would have told me I'd be sitting uh, here with you one day <laughs> interviewing you, I'd have laughed. But I've, I've seen you guys, like, ten times in concert, yeah. Almost as many times as I've seen Record hall, exactly. The, and themselves. Them, are, yeah. Them, those, those people. The, the, um, them. And it was so cool seeing you, though. Um, you, but you're just in your element, though, still, even like, you know, yeah. you did so good. And so yeah, I did, a, I did a couple, like, since leaving Hawk, I did a couple, like, acoustic things. Mm -hmm. And that's fun. It's just kind of nice to, I mean, music is my, it's in my blood, I swear. But, like, to actually play, like, in a, with a rock band again, it just, I don't know. I felt I felt at home yeah, you know, again yeah. today, and I like even been rehearsing with the guys all like last couple of weeks. It just Feels guys so like mm -hmm. um, you know when all, they are all one on one like each of them individually like is that all right? Like you know I know like it's hard to play like songs that aren't our songs. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm like you have no idea what this does for my soul. It just and, like just to be able to to just let loose again. It just it means a lot. So and good. So yeah. I'm just yeah. I'm so thankful I get to do this. Again. I knew I was always going to continue doing music and. Just in a little different element, you yeah. Yeah, exactly. It's so good. I'm just so excited to see where you um, go from here. I'm curious. You know, I'm yeah. curious too. <laughs> telling you, if you missed. First things first, good. get a record out, and then we'll see there what happens. You go. You there know. you go. <laughs> That's what it is. Well, thank you so much for thank taking you. the time and playing the show. It was incredible. Thanks for watching on the TV. Yes, and uh, on the radio. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess until next time. Until next time. Until next time. This is Jason Dunn, and I'm Charity. Bye. Hasta luego. Hasta la vista. Wait. What's that mean? I only know these two. One of them is uh, see you later and one see you tomorrow, isn't it? I always hear someone say that, so I just, I should be careful when I'm quoting Spanish lines. I don't even know what any Spanish <laughs> yeah. lines are. Well, like, I might be a while ago, so it's okay. It's just us, though. It's just us.